Dr. Kristen Simpson from Simpson Dental joins us today to talk about how to get ready for your dental appointment. Great to see you. Yes. And um, I, I didn't Good realize there are a lot you. of things that go into prepping for this first visit. So what right. are some suggestions you have? Well, you know, people often go to the internet for a lot of information, and now that we have the availability of AI, you can find out a lot more things on the internet. You just want to be careful about what you're finding out on the internet. So I just kind of want to go through some of the things that you should be looking for as you're doing these searches. So first, you want to make sure that you're using a reputable source when you're searching things. So. When it comes to dental things, you want to make sure you're like the American Dental Association is a great source or the Academy of General Dentistry. So things that have the backing of the dental community to let you know that it's true. It's mm -hmm. something that's based on research that you're looking at. So keep that in mind as you're searching. That is a great point because there is a lot of misinformation out there and misconceptions. There sure is. So when you're yes. doing your research, should you go to a doctor to get a diagnosis or do you think you can diagnose yourself? Well, I mean, you really don't want to self-diagnose 100% because of course you need that feedback from the doctor. It is important that you're telling the doctor exactly how you feel in what symptoms you're having because a lot of the diagnosis does come from you know how you feel and those symptoms that's definitely played into the equation for what we're deciding is going to work best in your situation so you don't want to self-diagnose to where you're not seeking the advice from a doctor but how you feel is important to know so mm -hmm. as you're researching things writing those things down is something that would help you to talk with your doctor about. So that's that's a good idea and something that would be helpful for you. That is a great idea. Should we also write down any questions we think of before we go to see the dentist? Yes, yes definitely. So a lot of times once you get to the doctor's office, you kind of get jumbled and you know, mm -hmm. you get nervous or things get thrown off. So if you write those questions down, then that'll allow you to have, and you make sure that you're getting answers to all of those questions that you have, so that when you go home, you're not just like, oh, I meant to ask that. <laughs> so that is a good idea to, to write them down. Yeah, very good point. Really, with any of our doctors, uh, to, we should do that. Yes. What about before and after pictures? Is this something you recommend? Yes, yeah, so when you're, you know, picking what dental procedure you want, a lot of times asking about, you know, someone else that might have had that procedure, a before and after, so you can see what it looks like, see the shape of the teeth, the color of the teeth, and that might help you to make your decision with what you want. And we can also do computer imaging, so we can actually put that smile on you. <laughs> so that gives you a more definitive um, look to what it would be for your case. Also, you can actually see what you'll look like with that procedure. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes, that can be very helpful. Uh huh. Well, if someone is thinking, okay, I need to make an appointment or it's been too long since I've gotten in, what is a good way to get yes. in touch with your office? So they can always go to our website, wvsmiles.com, or give us a call, and we can even set up just a free 10-minute consultation where we can talk about these procedures, answer some questions, let them see our office. So get them comfortable with coming to our office. Yeah. Well, Dr. Simpson, thanks so much for getting us ready for our dental visit. Of 